I will give now an overview of the second task of two shown argument retrieval, which in particular deals with the scenarios when people have some choice problem or they need to come to some informed decision. And basically those situations are can be described uh, in the form of comparative questions. In the form, for example, is is X better than Y? Or we can ask uh, what is better, X or Y? Um, and in this scenario, this is this is less typical, maybe for uh, for people who are researching argument in uh, computational argumentation, because uh, we always uh, we always read in the papers and see in the presentation that argumentation is controversial topic. Argumentation is controversial topic, but we believe it's not all. 100% the case is just because when we really need to come to an informed decision, we have to weigh and to find information pro and con to weigh and finally decide what to choose. Uh, similar to the first task, our task was run in the track style uh, settings where we provided 50 new search topics this year and we ask our participant to retrieve and rank uh, web documents from, from Clue Web 12 uh, document collection, which was also indexed and uh, is also accessible via the API of, uh, of the Shanoar search engine. We asked our participants to use Tira to uh, online platform to submit their software and uh, that that also provides the evaluation script of the submitted uh, of the submitted softwares. Uh, this is uh, yes, this is this is some statistics on the task. A little bit less. We, we received a little bit less registrations uh, compared to to the previous year. But in turn, we have uh, one more actually participating team, and we also saw all, almost doubled increase in the submitted runs, actual softwares, and different rankings from our uh, from our participants. Uh, the same way as the last year, we provided the baseline approach, which is PM twenty five F based Shanoa search engine, and. Uh, we manually judged uh, more than 2,000 uh, web documents that were retrieved uh, by, uh, by our participants uh, in terms of their relevance and the quality of arguments. And then we finally evaluated uh, the submitted approaches using NDCG at five. Here is an example of, of the uh, topic the search topic for the task two, which consists of the title. This is the main question, a search query. Should I, for example, may, should I major in philosophy or psychology? I want to make a choice between these two programs. And description provide more, more, uh, uh, more details on this particular search scenario. And the narrative is then used by our human assessors uh, to guide them uh, and to explain them what relevant documents or not relevant documents to this particular search query. I mean, uh, we used a well-established, uh, well-established, um, well-established met metric for uh, in information retrieval for assessing the relevance of the documents and uh, well-established definition. Uh, we had not relevant, relevant and highly relevant documents. And for example, for a query who is a better pet, a cat on a dog, we said, uh, this is a rule of thumb. If a document uh, com compares and provides information on both objects, the cats and dogs, and they compare us over a property being paid, then this would uh, this document would be highly relevant. If the document contains information on uh, either object, then it is still relevant. And something else would be uh, a not relevant document. And this rule of thumb is, uh, is ad ad additional or supplementary to uh, to that instructions that we included in the um, in the narrative for each search topic. Uh, 
uh, argument quality, the, 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 as we dimension uh, evaluation, as we just saw in the presentation, yes, there are many of argument quality dimensions, so in particular about 20. And we also saw that they are really hard to judge and really hard to subjective, so it's hard to uh, to get uh, in a high interrate agreement when people evaluate argument quality dimensions. So uh, maybe like for, sim sim for, for the reason of uh, make it a little bit simpler for our uh, annotators, we decided to go uh, to the rhetorical quality and basically to evaluate how well written uh, a text argument where we said, well, okay, this is our rule of thumb. If an argument, uh, this is ex a, an example of a good, a good or high quality argument is to the right and bad to the left. If, uh, if an argument uses a proper language, it has a good structure. So basically it, uh, uh, it's easy to follow, good grammar. This is a high quality uh, argument. If only some of the criteria met, but not the others, then it's just average quality argument. And if, if some text uh, contains profanity or very hard to, to follow, there's no logic, broken logic, it's um, a bad quality uh, argument. And since we deal with the retrieval of web documents, there is always a chance that there is no argumentation, no, 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 no argumentation, any premises and claims and so on in the document. That's why we use uh, the label zero, not only for bad quality of arguments, but also if there is no argumentation present in the, uh, in the relevant document. So here are several tables. I will show you several tables with the results of this year of to share. I put in gray uh, the results, uh, the baseline results, Puss and Boots. This is Shanoa, um, Shanoa search engine from the last year. And last year we had only one team who, which performed uh, slightly better in terms of NDCG when we evaluated the relevance. And this is different uh, this year. So we see Puss and Boots and we see that uh, uh, all, almost all, so five teams actually performed better and only one, one team performed uh, a little bit worse uh, uh, compare in terms of relevance compared to our baseline, baseline. But interesting observation that overall in DCG scores are lower this year and also the baseline scores lower this year compared to the previous year. And this is because uh, we provided 15 new topics, which by coincidence uh, turned to be harder for, for the system to, um, to be effective. We evaluated, separately evaluated the retrieval quality of arguments and also measured NDCG at five as a rank list. And the good point is that again, almost all five of six teams um, in terms of quality uh, did, much, did better than the uh, baseline approach. So overall observation, what was, what was different this year? So we have again in gray, we have baseline and we have one, uh, like the winning participant approach. And uh, below we have three most effective approaches submitted this year. So we see that in terms of representation, the teams are still using back of words, but uh, we also saw this year that more often uh, different word embeddings or uh, representations uh, using transformers were used. Query processing is popular this year and this trend remains in terms of uh, stop words, removing climatization and also uh, query expansion using synonyms or antonyms. Uh, in terms of ranking features, our participants were very creative and they introduced such features as comparativeness, like for example, sometimes just simply counting how many adjectives and adverbs 
uh, in the document uh, are in the comparative form or trying to identi identify the com comparison objects in the queries and then you find those comparison objects in the um, in the documents they also uh, incorporated argumentation support uh, features and uh, we can call it argumentativeness features when they counted the number of premises and claims in the document and in terms of actual ranking methods we saw this year increase and shift into um, into area into direction of machine learning uh, and classifiers uh, uh, such as boosting classifiers or bird-based classifiers. And uh, the main reason for that is that we provided the, the, the labeled data and labeled corpora that we collected in 2020. We provided to participants to uh, train their um, classifiers. Okay, so like all, all, all in all, what we saw this year, and we're happy that uh, all, like most of our participants were able to improve uh, the, the results of the baseline approaches. And we also were able to extend our collection of the label documents in terms of relevance. And we also added now the qual argument quality judgments and we, um, we provide uh, we provide our judgments and publish on the website. And uh, in general, we see that query processing are important uh, to be for this for the argument system effective. Uh, also, different comparative and argumentative features like trying to evaluate argument quality. And uh, of course, neural, but we see also that uh, still uh, TFIDF based uh, or like functions like PM25 uh, still can be effective, but need more uh, parameter tuning. Uh, we received six papers and which are now available and published at CUER proceedings. Um, and uh, this would be my last slide, and we will have uh, two feature talk, two long presentation uh, from the team Ryla and from the team Katana, and from the team Thor, we will have a lightning talks talk further.